Good day, my friends. I have to admit that I was looking forward for this new episode of One Cook Greek. It is known that people prefer to eat meat. Yet, what happens when the meat gets married with vegetables, with eggs and lemons, being the best man? I'm still waiting for you to subscribe. You've got a few seconds until the cooking starts. Well, now prepare your pots and your appetite because today we'll meet one of the best. The answer to my riddle? Pork and celery, boiled with egg and lemon sauce. Yummy! Kitchen time, everyone! There are a few things you must know before you start cooking this marvelous food. 1. Choose from the right part of the pork. 2. Wash away the bitterness of the celery. And 3. Very important, don't mess it with the sauce. So let's start step by step. For the meat, the best choice would be to choose from the shoulder part of the pork and ask from the butcher to throw away the heavy fat spots. Otherwise, you can pick from the round part of the leg or even better, a chunk, cut in medium-sized chunks. Voila! For a kettle like mine, you would need one to one and a half kilogram of pork meat. The rest of the ingredients are waiting, right here. One and a half kilogram of celery. 3 to 4 fresh onions 2 medium sized onions or a big one Lots of dill and some spearmint A medium sized celery root 3 pieces of pimento Salt pepper and olive oil Only a couple ingredients for the sauce Two eggs white and an egg yolk The juice from one and a half to two lemons depending on how juicy they are And some of the kettle's liquid The root will stay here with me for a later use Wash out the celery. Separate the celery to the lower thicker parts, the medium thinner and the upper leafy ones and wash them again. Be careful, you may find some soil stuck on the lower parts. Let the water do its job. Keep the thicker and thinner parts after you separate them from branches. Now place the celery parts into a pot with much water. Let it boil and then wait for about 5 to 6 minutes. This is how I get rid of the bitterness, which comes mostly from crop dusting or the celery itself. Wash diligently and cut everything in small pieces. So now I believe we can move on with the deep frying process. Put olive oil into your kettle and wait until it burns. Throw the onions in and let them fry for 30 seconds. Now throw the dill and the spearmint along with the pimento balls and wait for another half minute. Lay down the pork into the kettle and torture it. <laughs> Both sides. Now 
The celery should be ready by now. Wash it for one final time after you throw the boiled water away, just to be sure. Wedding time. Add the celery into the kettle and mix. Pour in two glasses of water. The water left on the leaves from washing will ensure that you have enough liquid for the final boiling. What about the happy face over here? Peel the outer part off and cut it in the way that we cut the roasted potatoes. But double the size. Place them onto the top of the food. Use a decent amount of salt. Pepper. And cover the kettle. Always keep in mind that you will add more vegetables that will subtract much of the tension from the meat. By the way, you could use a normal pot for boiling, but it would take more time to finish. Plus, you must check the water levels once in every while. Besides, the kettle will keep the pork more juicy. Drop the heat to 70%. It's a pretty easy process, you see. Especially if you know what to do. Bullseye! Let everything boil for 40 minutes. The time is right and the kettle opens. Wow, truly a splendid sight. There's still some liquid left in here as planned from the beginning. Pay attention now, because I'll make the egg lemon sauce. We're just a step before the delight. Drain the lemon's juice. Grab a deep plate, a soup ladle, and two forks or a small mixing whisk. Forks since we do it in the traditional fashion. Combine them like that and use them as a mixing device. Separate carefully the two egg whites from the yolks and throw them along into the plate. Use your makeshift device and mix in a slight angle. This is the right movement. Work fast until the egg white becomes like a thick lather. You shall never stop mixing. This is the perfect time to remove the kettle from the hot plate. Bring it close to you. Hurry up and continue with the sauce. Throw the yolk in and keep on mixing fast until white and yellow colors become one of the same. You can use both eggs yolks, but that would cause a rich eggy smell. And that's the reason I will use only one. Start sprinkling lemon steadily on the process. You will notice that the lemon gives a thicker texture to the outcome. After you're done, start adding broth from the kettle. Use the ladle and fill the plate while you're still working with your device. The plate is full now. Keep one last dose into the ladle and pour the content of the plate into the kettle. Wash out the plate with the last dose and return the liquid back where it belongs. The final step is to agitate the kettle gently with a few circular moves. Let the egg lemon sauce to be cooked by the heat of the food and become one with the rest. That would take approximately 10 minutes. No more advices, you have reached your destination. This is a stunning plate that you will love immediately. The vegetables taste even better than the meat. The wedding is over and it's time for the feast. Pork and celery and celery roots drown in an egg lemon sauce. Your unbeatable choice!